Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today I want to answer a question that we get all the time. How do I get my wife, mother, father, brother, cousin, anyone I care about to lift weights? If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Now the most common form of this question comes in two forms. How do I get my wife or how do I get my parents to lift? I happen to have both my wife and my mom and my dad all lifting. So I'm going to share what I did to make that happen. Now, right off the bat, you might say, Grant, you're cheating. We know your wife was lifting before you got married. That's a different thing. And I get it. So I may not be an expert in, hey, I've been married for a long time and I now want to get my significant other to start lifting weights. But I can tell you that getting my wife, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, my other brother, my other brother, my sister-in-law, my other sister-in-law, I've even gotten my grandmother to squat. I've learned some things on how to make this happen. Step one, if you're dealing with a female, let's address the wife issue first. The very first question that you need to answer or respond to is this one, but let's listen from Mark Ripito as I think it'll be a little bit better. Lifting causes women to get bulky. Bulk. Bulk. I like that word, bulk. Okay, there he says, lifting causes women to get bulky. He's doing a Q&A and discussing something that comes up all the time. Most women are worried that they're going to put on a whole bunch of muscle mass. Their biceps are going to get huge and they're going to have, you know, muscles popping out of their forehead and that's just not the case. As it turns out, men and women are different and as a result, they respond to weight training differently. So getting bulky and jacked is not going to be the outcome if a woman starts to lift weights. So step one on getting your wife to lift is addressing that issue. And the way you address that is by probably showing her other people that lift weights that look toned, leaned, fit, everything that most women want from going to the gym. Show them like, hey, look, here's someone that does this a few times a week and they look great or well, be careful what you say there, but you know what I mean. Before we continue on how to get your wife to lift, let's switch topics real quick to your parents because there's some things that are very similar in convincing really anyone you care about to lift weights. So the first thing you wanna deal with with females, whether it's your mom or your wife, is the bulky issue, which we did. You just tell them, hey, you're not gonna get jacked. The second thing you want to start to remove, whether it's anybody, could be your dad, could be your uncle, someone older, is you want to start to remove fear. A lot of people associate fear with barbell training. They look at deadlifts and squats and they think like, oh, I'm going to hurt my back. I can't tell you how many times I've squatted something heavy and messages I get are, don't hurt your back. You're going to blow out your knees because people, for whatever reason, associate weight training with some type of injury. So we wanna do our best to remove any type of fear. One of the ways that you do that is by showing whatever demographic you're trying to convince to lift, your 35-year-old wife or your 65-year-old mother, people like them doing it and not getting hurt. As my parents started to get older, I started to think about, man, I need to get my parents to lift. Here I am operating these gyms, helping all kind of people increase their longevity, and my own parents aren't lifting. So here's what I did. First, for my mom, I removed that bulky aspect because she thought that, like a lot of people. And then I started to remove fear from the gym and just talk about it in normal terms. And then I would start to show them people like themselves, my mom first and then my dad, doing things that were kind of incredible feats of strength. I would text my dad, hey, I had this guy that's in his 60s today in the gym that deadlifted 365 pounds. It was amazing. And I just sent them positive things without nagging, without telling them, hey, you have to do this or you're going to be hurt. And I just slowly over time continued to sprinkle that in. Then I used a card on my sleeve that some of you don't have. As a gym owner, my parents were coming to visit California, and I said, Mom, you've never seen my business. Come into my gym. I want you to see what I do. What mom's not going to say okay? She comes into the gym. Next thing she knows, she's squatting, deadlifting, and we got the ball rolling. The great thing about weight training is once you can get someone going, they're going to have results. They're going to feel better. They're going to look better. They're going to put on muscle mass. They're probably going to lose some fat and their body composition is going to improve and everything gets better because strength training is so effective. So really your job is to just get them to try. And the last way to do that would be this. 
you need to lift weights yourself. And I'm dead serious by that, and I mean it. And I'm not talking, try it. I'm not talking, buy the book Starting Strength and go twice a week for a month and then not go for a month. I'm talking you need to make it a part of your lifestyle. Three times a week, never missing, training on vacation, training when you're on the road. You need to make training as important as sleep and food because it is. And what will happen over time is your wife, your mother, your husband, your father, your cousin, your brother, your sister, they will see the change it makes in your life. Because lifting often produces a chain reaction of positive events. Not only do I get stronger, not only do I improve my physique, but a lot of times I start to make other healthy habits like sleeping better, eating better, all of these things in order to fuel my lifting. So be the example and don't nag whoever that person is. Be encouraging, be positive about it, show people like them that are having success in lifting weights and the success that they're having, make a big deal about it and do the program yourself. I hope this helps. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.